Hi, my name's Alan, and this is my first video in relation to a new store that I set up called TJ Militaria, which stands for Tommy and Jerry, which I thought was an appropriate name for a, um, a site dealing in Militaria. Um, I've been a collector from, from military equipment since I can remember probably when I was five, six, seven, and uh, used to speak to my granddad in relation to the war. Um, ever since then I've uh, amassed quite a reasonable collection and uh, now I've decided it's time to um, to expand and actually set up a store and actually um, bring some of the kit that I've actually accumulated over the years to, um, to members of the public. Um, today I'm going to talk about one of my um, yeah, one of my favorite items which is the, um, the M1917 German steel hand grenade. As you can see here, this is a lovely example. Um, it's got, it's, you can still see the original um, writing on the actual head of the grenade and on the shaft of the grenade, which is obviously, which is in excellent condition as well. You can actually clearly see the five and a half second impress timestamp on here for how long you've got to throw the grenade. Uh, at the bottom of the grenade, there's, a, there's, there's generally like a small silver cap on here. I, I, you can find them online occasionally, but um, I, um, if I find one, I'm going to add it to the, um, to, to the grenade. As you can see inside, it's got the original porcelain pull toggle, which then pulls, fires the ignition, which then burns a small piece of fuse through, that, through the handle and then into the capsule, which then detonates. Um, unscrewing the handle, which comes out nice and easy. You can see the original um, internal workings of where the detonator would be, which subsequently exploded the, the top of the grenade. And inside, you can see that it's, it's safe and clear, nothing within inside the grenade that's gonna cause any uh, problems to anybody. Uh, on, the, on the rear side of it, you've got the belt loop, or what you would see traditionally is hoop, hooked inside a, a German stormtrooper type soldier's um, boot. So again, this is a fantastic piece of World War I history, which is very rare to find in such amazing condition. And um, this is, like I said, this is one of my first videos I've ever done. Any, uh, any comments, please put them in the comments section below and I'll be happy to answer or happy to actually take any relevant feedback into um, how I can improve the site. Uh, we're gonna be doing a video probably every other day, bringing something new to the, um, to the market and um, I'm hopefully this will take off and I'll be able to expand and bring some really interesting products for people out there to view. Uh, so thanks very much for watching and thanks very much for listening and um, see you next time.